most babies around five or six months of age are able to sit up and maintain their body posture well enough to eat solids. And we'll start with thin solids, so purees and things like that, and try to make it an experience again. So baby might take some of those solids off of a spoon and they might use their hands and get it all over their face and, and have a really messy experience. And then that's fun for them too. And then as they get a little bit more accustomed to that, then you can start to increase the thickness in the variety of the solids. In the past, we used to tell parents that to wait until one or two years of age to introduce foods that might be allergenic. But what we know now is to build that immune system, we should really be exposing babies to these things much earlier. So small amounts of nut butters like peanut butter and things like that, eggs, dairy, those are all fine to introduce at that six month time frame. Before 12 months, we don't introduce um, cow's milk, but it's okay at six months to start to introduce things like yogurt, cottage cheese, um, things like that for baby. And the reason we like those is because babies get things like um, vitamin D and calcium, potassium, things that are really important for their diet, and it's also something that they can manage easily at their developmental stage. I like parents to look for things that have whole milk in them. Um, and the reason is because there's an additional amount of fat in there, which is really important for the brain development of babies and children. And the other thing with cottage cheese I would like to focus on would be probably smaller curds are easier for infants to manage. And then again, as they get more skillful in their eating, they can increase to a larger size. Some of the things you wanna to try to avoid would be foods that are unpasteurized. Um, because of the harmful bacteria that can be contained in those. Things with added salt or sugar, we want to minimize for sure. While all foods can fit, those, those things can change the palate of the, the baby. This is when I like to bring parents back to feeding is learning. And so um, infants and children will spit food out. They will make faces, they will do all kinds of things and it does not necessarily mean that they don't like the food. They're experiencing it for the first time and they're reacting to it for the first time. And so the way we teach that child that this is a food that's healthy and nutritious for your body is to keep repeating the introduction of that food. I like to compare it to when you're teaching a child to swing on a swing where they can first sit and they can hold on to the swing and then they start to be able to balance as you push them and then they are able to pump their legs and then they're able to do it independently and so we would never expect a child to be able to do that right off the bat. Um, there's a process that goes along with it. <laughs>